workshops, meetings, and seminars. You spent zero point. You spent thirty million, sir. Hmm? Twenty million. You spent twenty million. Mm. I've got your supplies and services. Seven hundred and fifty million. Mm. Travel inland. Seventy. Were well, this seventy-five million? Yeah. One. Zero point seven five. It's 750. It's 750, not 75. Eh? The other one is 20 because there is a zero. Uh, Fred, yes, the other one is 20 because there is a zero. Then you spend the travel inland, you spend 60. Not so. Um, light vehicle acquisition, you spend 300. A total of this. Now, our concern, sir, comes in this form. Specifically, I noted, very high rate. This is what the auditor, auditor discovered. This same man, he, he provided 150 goats, okay, to our farmers. All of them died in the first, is it in the first week? in the first week. And th this is how it went. So we're asking you, sir, how can you have a project that performs this way? Remember, we are not repeating the work of the auditor. Who is this gentleman that supplied 150 goats to, this far to the farmers, and all of them died in the first week. Uh, and what have you done so far? Chair, thank you very much for that question, and then request Dr. Kajura to, to supplement on my answer. The, there are reasons why goats die, and the, uh, why any biological would die, especially if you have supplied them. Some of the reasons might be genetic. You might yeah. Even it. when you go to table two, yes, sir. Where there are seven hundred, mm. okay, mm. that were supplied, mm. and the farmers there, mm. still, only four hundred and forty-one survived. Exactly. And, and 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 these are the initial days. That's so we are not so sure at the end of this project how many goats that you supplied. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, sir. That there might be two reasons. But I will allow maybe the scientist to, to, to explain to me. However, I ask myself this very question. Because there's a scientific reason. There's a scientific reason why this might happen. But there's, there might also be another reason why it may happen. And I can assure you, sir, we have interrogated this. I request that we allow Dr. Kagujura to, uh, Dr. Kajura, the project coordinator. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Guya has taken close sum, sums of money by providing wrong goods. This and sometimes he even never gave them out. And the recommendations of Parliament, if you go to articles of Parliament, he should not have been given this contract again. So we need to know no. how did they source him out, and they should provide that information how he got the contract. Then, as he comes in, this committee should be availed by. On page 35, Article 515, 5, Clause 11 of the Memorandum of Understanding 2021, states that Senegal Assets Uganda Limited shall procure and in liaison with a district veterinary officer, office, proceed to isolate, vaccinate, and tag and distribute indigenous local goods. But 64 of the Memorandum states that the district local government shall assess. So we need details of the assessment of those people, plus what was done by Sembeguya in relation to Article 5. We need details of that, if they never provide them to the auditors. So because they were determining the type of goods to be bought Honorable by... Why Mr. Sembeguya was contracted again I'm not in a position to answer. By the time I took over this project, he was already having an MOU with the ministry. Maybe I will, I will ask the 
accounting officer to because just to clarification should we find out is this a continuation of the other projects was prov uh, supplying goods to was working with the nuts so this is a different mou so you have someone perennially doing wrong and you continue yeah. who is the officer were you the officer under review on this audit were you the officer yes you are the officer i was for this financial year yes i put him on oath because i'm going to be very 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 serious here i Stephen kajura do hereby I, Stephen Kajura, do hereby solemnly swear that the evidence I shall give touching the matter before this committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. I was appointed to run this project when Sembegwe had already been contracted. So I am not, I don't know the background of how he was contracted. Somebody else was managing and I was only brought in at the tail end. Mr. Chairman, yes. then we need to know from the accounting officer how was the same bag we are sourced to provide this service to the Minister of Agriculture. Can we get information and the table the evidence? Chair, I do not have that information off hand. However, given time, I would be able to provide you the information. I can't have it, Chair, because it was not the subject <coughs> of the audit query. Procedure. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the procedures they followed in appointing Mr. Sembeguya to provide goods. Why I'm insisting on this? This man appeared before this committee, Sembeguya, and the issues were gross on him. And here we are, still being given the same business, but goods are dying. That's the same problem. So we are not benefiting. These are losses. So that's the procedure matter I will seek for. That's why we have the big number from our culture. Whether it will be procedure okay for the accounting officer, that general, to send someone to their ministry and bring us details of how same beg we are. Or he can make a phone call. Okay, one, well, let's first make a clarification. Accountant, that matters. Okay, this matter was raised by the auditor. And you came here clearly knowing you are going to respond to matters in the audit report. So, can you withdraw that it's not an audit matter? Chair, the point I'm talking about is the fact that the of, this, uh, of these people are diverse. If we were to wait now for the information, I can tell you certainly that it would be very no, difficult the, the, that, that one had not yet made a ruling. Yes, sir. The only thing I'd wanted to deal with yes, sir. is that we are dealing immediately to find out what the problem is but also to look at the contractual obligation that was entered uh, in line with seeing whether you can salvage, you can hold the supplier responsible maybe to, to replace the goods and uh, from uh, a professional perspective, procurement issues are issues that are of public nature for to secure a service provider like this one, definitely due processes must have taken place. And uh, that information is available somewhere. It is not information that is very far. So it would only be prudent that uh, uh, that information is available. Then we look at the contract well, and see how we can salvage this. That is a serious issue. First week of delivery, Mr. Chairman, that's when the goats died. Do you know? Thank you. So let's delivery. take this seriously. The procurement process, the, the trace of this procurement and how it was handled, what leading to what contract was signed, is available somewhere. It is archived. It should be brought and then we look at this. Let me have the vice. Then, uh, Bazi. That there is a lot of dishonesty. Uh, sorry to say from the officer that made the submission. Because in your own opinion, in your own docket, if there is an observation of a project that has close to 50% failed, you cannot come and casually make a submission as if something is too normal. 
you cannot claim that you, you were handed over an office and your predecessor did not give a record of what happened prior. So, uh, Honorable Chair, good enough, we are, we've also been where you are. You cannot claim that you don't have the procurement action files for that activity. Chair, I pray that the procurement action file, right from initiation, from the users, the initiators of the project, is brought before we proceed with this assignment. Actually, if he's, uh, I don't know his position, but I believe you have so many officers under you, and I doubt whether that very file is kept under your, your safe as a special, you know, as a special file. So, Chair, I would request that for us to proceed very well, the officer needs to submit this important document because that will lead you into the other abnormal, abnormal aspects of an entity getting such, this is, this is a scam, of getting such a scam, and you look not to be bothered. Your officer is casually submitting as if everything is moving on very well. So, Honorable Chair, we would like to have a submission of the procurement, a detailed procurement action file for this very activity. Thank you. I want to depart from <coughs> sorry, the submission of the Vice Chair to the committee, the Honorable Goretti. Uh, but I want to add my voice that um, these are issues of accountability. And we should take serious note, uh, I think the accounting officer should know, that if the goats, for example, died in the very first week, anybody would be interested to know this sub is it as a result of disease or as a result of a felony on the other side of the supplier. And then if it is, if you find out, then you take uh, action. If it is, for example, the supplier's fault, then you take action. But I, me, I want to take note that even now, when the, we are talking about 15 billion that was dying, but I have picked interest also to note that each goat uh, was, you, you know, we are talking about how the supplier was sourced. Each indigenous goat was 398,000 shillings. 300? 398,000 shillings. This That's is, a unit cost? Yes, per goat. That's fair. They were indigenous? I, yes, I can say fair if they are uh, good size. But the one I picked interest in is the, is the imported goats. They are 71. It is uh, 528 eh? million. 528 million. So this makes the goat how much? 7 point something. Um, 7 point 4 uh, bra bra per goat. shillings per goat. Uh, th this brings me to the, the rats we, we dealt with some time back. <laughs> so, 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 no, Basil, be very affirmative. So, yes. that you've looked at two aspects. Now, we are taking it to detail. Yes, I'm One, looking, yes, I, I'm uh, now, after bringing this. No, I want you to say I the things very, very clearly. Yes, I'm now stating. Yes. The uh, facts after bringing you that background. So, the indigenous now, one, one which was bought for 300. 98,000. 98, the exotic the, one? To me, that is a fair price, given that sometimes it takes long to pay the supplier, and the suppliers also take uh, credit from banks. So, but this one of 7.4 million <coughs> per, per goat is, is something that I wanted to be explained how it was sourced and eventually purchased at that cost, especially if the method of procurement has not been clearly indicated. But also, the third issue is once an officer takes office and you see that there is high mortality rate, you take interest 
to know why. So, has this mortality rate been reversed? Is this supplier still in action in the next financial year? And what happened? And um, here, I think we can also supply goods. You can also at seven million. At, uh, at no lower than that, a lower cost. <laughs> and goat from South Africa and Namibia. We bought a high pedigree animal, and this cost includes cost insurance and freight. So it came to 7.4 million. The Seven. local goats, the, the, the exotic goats we bought are high pedigree goats that are supposed to improve the blood of. So pedigree animals are usually very expensive. The genetics is high. You, you are free to Google any high pedigree animal, a, a Sanan goat, and you'll come to about the same range. Now, the, the issue of uh, disease, uh, I, I hadn't yet come to that response, but the, the, the mortalities were high for two reasons. One, what we call goat plague, pestis diabetes ruminancia. It broke out in very many districts of Uganda. And, and the Sembegwe was procuring goats from farmers, breeders to distribute to farmers. We have a surveillance report by, so he, he the, was, by he Animal was, Health Department. He was the Kayungirize. No, no, no. He's con he, we have an MOU with Sembeguya, and I am going to, I, I pledge that I'm going to provide the background of how he was. I will go and peruse the file. But I know that this is the second phase of the project. It started in Zimbabwe, and now he, there was the, a rollover to six other districts. Yes. So, but, but Mr. Chairman, let me run away from facts. At the beginning, he said he got the project, he was given this role after the procurement, everything has taken place. And a while ago, now he has just said he was as if telling us how Sembegwe was procured. And uh, I asked you, Mr. Chairman, that they should send someone to bring all the relevant documents on how Sembegwe was sourced. Actually, you have just stated it now. That Sembeguya was, as you said, the Kayungiris. Sembeguya has a record of parliament mm. is that he breeds the goats and he has capacity, which was contested by this committee long ago. Mm -hmm. Now, if you tell us that he was getting from other people, these are the deaths we are getting. So we cannot get an answer about these goats before looking at how Sembeguya was procured, yet is among the blacklisted uh, providers of uh, services uh, in the government. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, 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 to me, I think we should not spend a lot of time on this. The vice asked some specific information regarding this procurement. But I also want to say is when you are outsourcing a supplier, the supplier may collect goods from somewhere, Kashari, uh, Mubende, uh, Karamoja, but with intended supply somewhere. So if they are local breeders, to me, I thought even this supplier would first take them to a designated place and take care of them. So uh, a holding area so that then he supplies when he has taken care of. Uh, Optimistic. Uh, yes, so that they are, he doesn't, but if you pick from my farm, even, even if they put us in the same room today, uh, somewhere in a congested place, uh, uh, our colleague would, 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 would infest us. So my question is, was this Sembeguya who was procured having capacity that was assessed that he had 10,000 goats or whatever, and therefore, out of the stock, he is supplying. Or, he was given an MOU and he said, you go and pick anything, then you come and supply. And, and in the process, actually, collected diseases, aggregated them, and then took them to an area. I'm very sure these people who received goats had their breeds also, those ones they found, like we saw in Karamoja. The goats that were taken, they are killed those that they found. Let me ask the...
from the local veterinary staff reporting about the deaths and what happened. But also the acknowledgement receipts by the beneficiaries that actually they did receive these goats that died and the balances that remained. But also this committee be vanished with the import certificate that clearly indicates, as talked about the CAIF, cost insurance and flight, and also the Uganda revenue documentation that actually also confirms to us there were goats imported and of those numbers that were going to this particular project. Uh, at seven million must have far extreme benefits that this country would actually benefit and, and it was thought well and the cost benefit and this was done in comparison the local goods being bought at 300,000. We need to understand this. So I wish they would also provide that information that we share that the government of Uganda or the people of Uganda are going to benefit extremely far better in these imported goods at 7 million than our local goods. At the time, our auditors to explain some of the things. Because uh, in front of us, we have an audit report, and uh, we are questioning some procedures. And uh, the auditors, in some instances, have not raised some of the issues. So like uh, on this uh, competitiveness of this procurement, both the local goats and the imported goats, uh, since they have not raised it here in the audit report, we would want to know from them if they were comfortable with the procurement process so that we, as we get the file, we are also sure that actually the auditors had looked at it and uh, maybe were comfortable with the procedure. Because, Chair, as it looks right now, it's, it would be as if now we are also now going into an audit process. Yes, yet the auditors have done the work and they have brought a report here. So okay. on my side, uh, I would want to know from the auditors if they investigated or if they reviewed the procurement processes and they, are com they were comfortable on, on, on my side. No, we are not examining auditors here. Sir, Madam, I, I think... I do not want this committee to lose um, focus of the Auditor General's finding and recommendation. When you read what the Auditor General wrote, he actually, first of all, acknowledged that there was an MOU between this seal and, I believe, the ministry or the project. And in his advice and recommendation, he advised the accounting officer to ensure seal adheres to the MOU and to establish holding centers in each district where delivered goods should be quarantined and monitored at least two weeks before the distribution which means there was a breach for me reading what the Auditor General has written. So this is where I want the accounting officer to explain to this committee what was contained in this MOU, which I have not seen, Chair. We have not seen that MOU. And of course the management response is that the holding grounds is, is for it's, it's the district, local government, that's supposed to establish them. But in, the, in knowing that they were not established, why did we go ahead to make, pick goats, allow these goats to move direct from the farm to wherever they were taken or distributed to beneficiaries? Why didn't we comply with this uh, particular provision that required the holding ground to be established? At least the goats are monitored before they are actually distributed. I just want to understand that. So in a so the MOU 2021 states that this Sembeguya Estates, Uganda Limited, shall procure, in liaison with the district veterinary office, proceed to isolate, vaccinate, tag, and di distribute indigenous local goods. Were these goods vaccinated? Why then? On page 36, the auditor noted that, however, I noted that during inspection of most of the beneficiary farmers, they did not keep records of, of goat enterprise performance, especially at the farm level. 
and with the interview with the beneficiary farmers, they revealed that the goats they received were weak, emaciated, they were coughing, and had nozzle discharges. So, <laughs> no, this is from the, <laughs> the observation of the Ota Geno. You pick goats from wherever you got them from, very sick, coughing, sneezing. Yeah, you know, they had every kind of sickness. Then you give them to farmers. So, for me, Chair, I do observe that <laughs> for this project, it would be so unfair for us to even think that it succeeded in any way. Chair, as we do proceed, I'm anticipating the challenges that were faced by the Auditor General when he went to the field from the officer that has been submitting. For somebody who, for us, we observe there is a problem. But the officer in charge of a project casually takes it that business is as usual. So, Chair, for me, I would, I would think this project will require a very forensic audit. Very forensic audit that would bring out issues of value for money and also to unveil who is Sembeguya. Members, you need to know who is Sembeguya. That is why we were calling for the procurement action file to look into the articles of association to know who is Sembeguya. If you lift the veil, you may find that this is the very reason as to why you cannot get many details about the goats. So we need to know who is Sembeguya. Who are the directors in Sembeguya? 324, I can assure you we have not budgeted for this activity, for this project. Why? Because of the issues, we, we took uh, proactive action and okay. noted most of the issues that you are talking about. And uh, I can have been informed that we are actually in the process of examining the, many of the questions you've asked. We are in the process of examining them. I would like to really suggest, Chair, because I have noted there are two issues. One, how did we get Sembegui? Who is he and how did we get him? Two, having got him wherever, however we got him, the goats that he gave us died, were running noses and emaciated <laughs> and so on, and died. Therefore, how come we got, we accepted goats which were sick and uh, with running noses and died. Chair, I would request that we give you a comprehensive report on these two issues. And uh, I would request we put these, report, with these, uh, these uh, uh, responses in writing with all the ev evidence that you and require for this. Thank you. I, I, I would request also, Chair, you know, I told you, sir, that uh, I, uh, the, the interest I know that you are a very fair man. I would request that you, you protect me and allow me to complete my, uh, you, uh, protect me and you allow me to complete my answer. Because if you don't allow me to complete my answer, no, sir, no, you have the floor, sir. It is not necessary for me to be here. No, no, no sir, you, well, you have the ask, floor. Ask CID to deal with me and then make your conclusion and then I am just joking. <laughs> so I, I would request that. Uh, because I'm as interested as you, we are all interested. These, these are goats for Ugandans, and this is not money for ourselves or we are taking home. I'm also interested, like you, I would request that we give you a comprehensive answer, a more comprehensive answer than giving you these things in a, just talking, especially on the new issues, the very new good pertinent issues that you have you've, uh, raised, and I would request that we give you these by the close of business today or tomorrow, we, we can. Uh, I, I'm sure the officer can uh, ask somebody. To no, some some files. I'm going to need them. Um, uh, Honorable colleague, if if they permit, you know, I'm, I just preside over. One, I believe, sir, you have a big case at hand, and we are talking about. You have even confirmed you yourself. You are not willing to t to continue with the project because you suspect we've lost money as a country. And there are documents that we need. Yeah. At the end of this sec session, I intend to end it early. You report to the CID, okay. they will accompany you and get all those documents okay. we want after you've made a statement yeah. with the CID. Chair. Not you, sir, the officer. Chair, there is a, yeah. an additional question that you And you know put. all the documents members have asked for? Yeah. You are going to commit with the, the CID you remove with her to your office today and get all those files we want. You get it? Yeah. And on time, after you make a brief statement, you are not 
under criminal. You just confirm this they asked, this they asked. You walk with her to your office. You hand over those files. Those you can hand over tomorrow, you'll hand over tomorrow. Those you can't today, make sure you hand them off today. You, he sure. will, she will or they will accompany you. Sure, sure. The, the accounting officer to send someone to bring documents dealing with the procurement yes. of Mr. Sembeya. Yes, mm. you dealt with this issue in the last accountability with the same monitor. Yeah. When did you last monitor? Chair, he cannot we, claim we, to... No, you cannot claim to be monitoring. Get to page 37 of your submission. The accounting officer explained that the project has been facing a challenge of availability of funds and transport facility to carry out monitoring of the project activities on a regular basis due to government budget cuts. Yes. So you can't claim to be monitoring. One got this year. This year, yes. You we we actually had an occasion to... To so why were you launch? saying that you don't know? No, I said current today, but uh, no, 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 what January, I, why, did, why didn't you give us an answer that in January I visited and in January I saw this? You then know, you said you don't are, know. There are certain questions which we are going to deal hmm? with. We are dealing with a, an, a, a last financial, financial year, year which ended in June. When were the goods delivered to be still under quarantine up to January this year? Uh, and went over the financial year because one, Sembeguya was uh, funded towards the end of the financial year. Now, procurement and quarantining, especially of ex exotic goods, can take three, four months. So that's why they came in January. So but he received the money in June. <coughs> yeah. It's about $2,000. Now, those of you who are in serious farming, sir, you know how much it costs to import genetics from outside. I will not go into that one. Because, uh, Chair, I... I beg Honorable Taiwa put a question. I beg that. You I remember Honorable Taiwa's question? Yes, sir. Eh? Somebody, because somebody questioned the, que the cost, the unit cost of each of these goods. And I'm trying to explain, sir, that it could actually be justified. Because uh, I know, I happen to know, for example, that uh, the Honorable the, the President Zuma, no, Ramaphosa, sold, I think, a Nyankore cow from Uganda, I think, to about $150,000, $140,000. One, one of the cows he got from here. No but matter the how presidents in Africa put you and sell. Am, and he did not sell it to another president. <laughs> he sold it to somebody bought it. However, this is up to, I request, sir, that I complete my submission. This is really up to you as honorable members of the, because I want to support you to get the truth of this matter. But the second point, maybe the last point that I want to make, is that the officer, is, we are going to provide all the information that you require, but we need to remember that these are issues of the last financial year. After reviewing this issue in this financial year, including the report of Parliament about Mr. Sembebuya and the report of the Auditor General, we have reviewed our action towards this project. And we are in the process, actually, uh, I can assure you, Parliament, that it is not possible for someone to steal money from us. It will, mm. I, I can assure you. So, order. Sir, order, Mr. Chairman. Sir, order. I, Order, Mr. Chairman. Order. There are very many. And it, it, this was done under the supervision of the accounting officer, who is a general. Now, when he comes to this, half, uh, to this committee and says, we, we have done, we are going to control, there is no more loss of money. When we are already looking at losses of goods worth billions, is it in order to put this into that kind of situation? The answer, the issue here, once an audit query is on paper and it was not dropped by the Auditor General, it means there are losses of funds, Mr. General, sir. So is he in order to tell us how they are going to control no losses, no losses, when already the queries are more than what we are expecting? Uh, Think very carefully. So, you know, revise the language, you know, and use the parliamentary language. Chair, thank you very much. But I, I want to assist you to, to move faster. 
Yes, because sir. we think we are over spending a lot of time on this issue. We, we've been on it for an hour. 1.1 we've dealt with the good mortality rate, we've noted. 9.2 is on performance of beneficiaries, unless there's something specifically. Honorable Pendi, uh, Taewa, and uh, Honorable Six Months. Mm -hmm. No, no. January now it is three months. Two and a half, sir. You, you want to hold them for four months? No, I think the distribution is taking place. I'll find out, Chair, the current status, as I said. So in the document you are bringing, yes. you are going to bring to, bring the to us status. the current status? Yes, Chair. Okay. Can we proceed to another question? 177.8 billion availed to the ministry during the year. 173.2 was utilized, resulting in an unutilized warrant of 4.58, representing 97% utilization, as shown in the table below. There is the table down here. Uh, as a result of failure to utilize the warrant, there were salary areas, pension areas, payment of construction. To tell you the truth, I want you to go to 1.5. You want me to stop this one? No, no, no. We shall come back to that. The big, I tackle the big issue, then we come to the simpler issue. I want you to go for 1.5 where you did a mischarge of 900 million. Yes. The issue here is uh, that there was a mischarge of 939.627 billion. It says were irregularly diverted from the activities on which they were budgeted and spent on other activities. Details of cases where, th where this was observed are in Appendix 2. Uh, diversion of funds is not only contrary to the Public Finance Management Act, but it negatively affects the delivery of services and negates the purpose of budgeting. The accounting officer explained that the ministry invoked uh, Rule 14 of the Public Finance Management Regulations 2016 and informed the PSST of the need to repurpose funds. And uh, I advised the accounting officer the recommendation <coughs> to ensure that the charging of expenditure is based on the expenditure classification and coding as defined by the chart of accounts and not reasons for the expenditure. Management response, the ministry invoked regulation. Sir, 14. you are reading what we have. You see, yes. I want to be up to speed. When I go to 1.4, you have a response there. Yes. Your response is that the ministry invoked regulation 14 yes. of the public finance management reading we have. The question is on those two. Then from those two, you go back and say, Diversion of funds. So the portion of the, 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 the question is only three. Your response, the Auditor General rejecting it, and then what you've done. I discussed this issue with the Auditor General. I informed him, and uh, I am surprised at his response, but really uh, the, 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 my response as, is as previous. I, I, when we changed, we informed, uh, you have a copy, when we informed, we informed the Auditor General, actually this was a, a slight point of contention between ourselves and the Auditor General, and we, we even sought to seek an opinion of the, of the Solicitor General on this issue, as to whether or not we were right in our activity, in our action, and we I don't want to say we insist, but we, we think that we, our ac action was justified. Thank you, sir. I, I open this to call. I don't want to give my... And this one, uh, uh, colleagues, I would really want uh, both the accounting officer and our office we have to assist us. If you look at one, it says allowances, then it says the casual temporary sitting allowances, they charged contract staff, the account that should have been charged should be contract staff allowances, mm -hmm. salaries. But in that same schedule, there are accounts which really relate to allowances. I'll give an example. If you look at it, on amending the side where they are supposed to have charged. 
Number two, allowances. Allowances. If you go down, allowances. Allowances. So the issue is, why did the accounting officer get this money we are talking about, the 347 million, to charge these same accounts so that there will be no problem of raising a mischarge because you would have charged the right account and I went to charge contract uh, salaries. If you go further, if you really interpose this, you will discover that the mischarge, if the accounting officer followed the very way the chart, would go down drastically. Me have just done numbers yet could come to about only 219 million. So the question is, why did the accounting officer charge the right account instead went and charged the wrong account, yet money was on those accounts, and he said went on and also charged them differently. Has raised an issue that uh, you'll find that there is interchange of charge items when the funds could have been available. Uh, funds are released in quarters, and in one quarter you may have, for example, you will see where we are saying we should have charged property management, but maybe we charged uh, garden security services. These items are really related. You find that uh, you need to pay the guards and the funds, because the, not every coin that we budget for comes out at the quarter when it should be coming out. But there are those expenses that you cannot leave out. If, for example, you, need to pay, you have guards guarding the ministry, you don't have money on guards, it's not enough, but uh, you have um, money on property management expenses. At least you look for those items that are related. Uh, you will see that there is even where we, you are anticipating that we shall pay this amount of electricity. You put money on electricity, you put money on water. You find that money on electricity is finished, money on water is still on, you go in and yet they are going to cut off the electricity. So you go into electricity and you, you pay. Uh, I want to request this uh, through my chair, this committee, to understand that it is in, in actual operations, not all the money comes out at once. And in order to make the ministry move, you look sometimes at these related items and you, uh, you work within the provisions of uh, when you have asked to be allowed to charge. That's how this came out. And uh, when you look at the items, most of them are really, really related. Thank you, Chair. You would have said yes. You budgeted for security two million, but it became ten million. But it is come you are charging from property. Why didn't you allow that environment? That's number one. Number two, if you are talking about quarterly, now assuming you have used the quarter A money for a certain property, why do, why don't you reconcile it at the end of the financial year so that you said we took your money, we have returned this one was meant for this. Why, why don't you reconcile this uh, <laughs> item at the end of a financial year? Yes, sir. But uh, I want to add on that the assessor commissioner explained well what mischarge means. Mischarge is where you want to pay for an activity, but at that particular time, there is no money for that activity. You pay from another activity. Now, when another quarter comes, the money for that particular activity, which was, there was no money, you might find this time there is money. That's why when you look at this schedule, you find that some of the calls which were mischarged at the same time mischarged the other side, because money is coming at different times. But to me, I don't think that's uh, an excuse. Because the reason why Ministry of Finance actually put mischarge as a case it was to discipline the accounting officers and pay masters. If you realize that the money you're supposed to pay from here is finished, instead of encroaching on another code 
to pay from. Then you seek permission. Seek permission that we don't have this money, like he has rightly said. We don't have this money. The money meant on this is finished. But it was budgeted for the whole year. Maybe what came in the quarter is not enough to finish that activity. But there is also some other money in the next quarter for that particular uh, uh, activity in the work plan. Seek for some permission so that they allow you to spend from another code other than spending when you know that you are really mischarging. So two things. When the auditors come, you are home and dry. And for them to reject, because I'll ask you to give us a management letter, will you feel comfortable? The management letter they wrote to you. If I went to that extent, I say, please adduce the management letter. Will you feel comfortable? Should I take that route? Because I can take now that route that you are distributing the, 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 what they discovered. I'll say, lay on table the management, first management letter they give you. They gave you. I know you don't want me to go there because you know the implication. Implement some of the planned activity despite having received the required funds. One of the activities not undertaken was to distribute two million doses of FMD vaccines. No, no, no. That, that detail we have. Yes. The, the, the rest, that's why I tell you, don't take us into those ones. Yes. The, 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 the answer you gave is all the activities were rolled, rolled over the financial year. But yes, that yeah. does not take away mm. the fact that 8.4 billion were spent. You got the money. You did not implement activities worth the 8.4 billion. So don't take us into the activity that you never implemented. Those ones we can read. Yes, Chair, I, I don't... Just saying five of 1.4. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not taking you to five. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, my interest here is what is trending now is FMD. Yes. It is a program for all of us and... Uh, even my colleagues that said I'm, I'm sure they are equally affected. However, what is disturbing me is although the general response is that the activities were rolled over, mm -hmm. here in the management response, before we go to that column, the first management response was funds were used to procure other vaccines, mm -hmm. uh, other drugs, like a car sides and so I, I am I'm trying to wonder whether there was an emergency that they would explain that this emergency superseded the, the, who who the, can the, quickly go through appendix yes. one because it be and when you read about about the twenty nine billion also part of that money you had the money to procure vaccines for FMD two million doses. You've just signed a project mm. eh, in Japan, but read what this one will take your heart out and says that's project monitoring and supervision of construction of two dams at Ki, Ki to Kitumbizi mm? uh, in Nigeria uh, and and and, and wherever yeah. you could not monitor. Mm. Then you are signing, you are flying quickly to sign for more money. Eh? For <laughs> even the little you have, you can't monitor. And the money you got, the money you spent. Mm. Chair, chair, uh, let me FMD. first listen to the on FMD. Honorable oh, Chair, uh, it, it has been put on paper that some of this money was used to buy acaricides. I've never seen government distributing acaricides to farmers anywhere. No, the only thing that I trust that people can benefit through is. Uh, the vaccination against F FMD. Yeah, honorables, hold your fire. As we go down in implementation, you are going to get a shock of your life. How they have a color side in thousands in store, sure. and you have never distributed them. Mm -hmm. They are here in the details. Let's go slowly. Okay. The, um, is the disease you have been talking about of goats, the one which causes goats to die. And uh, you have been, in the same way, we've been... Uh, PPR, uh, uh, Dr. Kajura, is PPR not endemic? It is here. 
So vaccination is a must. It is endemic here. Now, first of all, this, this story, the, the Auditor General's report, does not give the whole story. Because, sir, a lot of this money that we are told we were supposed to spend and did not spend comes in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter, while it starts on the 1st of May, I think, or 1st of April, the money actually, by the time we warrant and so on, it is about the 20th of April. Of April. By the time you complete, you are left with two, one of two choices. Either this money is going to be swept back and you are not going to be able to spend it, or you are going to think and spend this money so that it doesn't go back. So first and foremost, we've been trying to get enough doses of FMD here. We have not been able to get the money. Even now we are trying to get money to buy 10 million doses. We have not yet got the money to buy the 10 million doses. Yeah, let the general hold the fire first. I just mm. wanted to find out. Mm. Yes, the money... They should have come. I don't know whether they have come. But we are in the process of procuring vaccines. However, uh, again, uh, I, I don't want to go into a long, a long explanation because if we really were doing what we were supposed to do, even this problem of FMD will not be there because part of the problem of FMD is a failure on the, on the part of uh, our, our people, including our leaders, including our leaders, to explain to people that FMD is endemic in Uganda and that there are certain behavior which ensures that however much vaccine you buy, but you chair, I you want you to, to stop that conversation. Yes, sir. Because it's unrelated. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, sir. Don't say no. We are sp sp saying you got the money. Okay? You never implemented the activity. That's when you had the listen, when you had the money. Actually, we are saying we are asking you, where did you put this money? You are supposed to procure a two million doses of FMD drugs. You did not. And the country is grappling with an outbreak. Can I make a ruling? 1.4 sustained. And did you know the loss, sir? Chair, may I, uh, with the greatest of respect to you, sir, offer you an explanation about 1.4? You want me to rescind my decision? Okay. I want to persuade yeah, you, I said sir. I will be fair. I, I, want to I said I will be fair that, and I listen to you. Yes, sir. For example, to buy FMD vaccine. FMD vaccines are not on the shelf. So when you receive, for example, 20 billion shillings to buy vaccines, there is nowhere, no place that you are going to go to get those vaccines in less than four or five months if you want to buy them. Unless when you buy them, you are going to get air. To buy vaccines requires, one, to test your animals, two, to ensure that you have the correct person who is going to manufacture these vaccines, and three, to ensure that that person has the capacity to deliver those vaccines to you. Even then, after the vaccines have been uh, manufactured, the vaccines themselves have to be tested for efficiency and efficacy. So some of these things, sir, if it is a problem, I have asked, this argument has been made to me by both the auditors and the PSST, and I've asked myself, if the efficiency, my efficiency can be gauged by spending money, I can spend it. I mean, it's just a signature. I can send it. But I would request, I would request, sir, that... Uh, I would request, sir, let him give him a chance to, to complete. That really uh, the, the, the issue, because this year we are in the process of buying the FMD vaccine, the things we did not do last year, we are doing them this year. We are titling and surveying the land. But are you answering, are you responding to the question? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, man, I think uh, we should have There is something you will not tell him. You see, by the time you generate that you are going to buy two million va uh, 
vaccines. It is out of you. Then, when you get this money, which is meant to buy FMD vaccines and use it to buy Arakasai, eh? Aka, aka, uh, that word, <laughs> Arakasai. It means you sit in your office and give yourself authority to do something different from what you planned. Secondly, let us agree with whatever is saying that you cannot buy them a single day or what. But all that is evidence table. Did you make a procurement? Did you show the money would be available? But this money was spent for something else. Are you getting? Yeah. So I think let us not be telling us, you see. They are witness. Chair, the, is the budget item is the same. Funds. It's you who asked for this money. When you got the money, you did something else. And the audit query does not come after five months. The voters, it is after financial year. So you had to buy these vaccines. And let me put this on record. These people, the honor members who were cut and what, they are saying, give us permission to buy ourselves these FM, these by ourselves. So don't mislead this committee <laughs> by telling us to <laughs> <those laughs> <are laughs> <laughs> Chair, if anybody buys FMD, because we are leaders, we must guide our people properly. You know, but for if us, we are on money, you, if money you buy, spent, not, not If you buy FMD vaccine, because it's a scientific process, if you buy, there's nowhere can, in the world where this sir, is done by the private can sector. I, so I have a, a small comment from only three people, because that conversation is a sector conversation. Okay. Me, I'm here for an audit conversation. Yeah. Chair, thank you so much. I, I, I procured by that money, though not utilized in the last financial year, but now. But people don't have vaccine. So I, I didn't understand it. Chair, may I explain that one? Because Can there I was a supply chain problem. In this item, it, it is always rolling over every financial year, and it comes as an audit query. And it, there was a time they said the, the LOC could not perform <laughs> because we had deposited money for the FM, what is FM, FMD. Then there was a time they said the money had been paid in advance because if we don't do it, they would not have it. So I would want the committee to get interested and maybe instruct the Water General to do the chronology, the chronology of this for about four years or five years. That's number one. The number two, this budget is not prepared by parliament. It is prepared by the accounting officer. And he says, this is my plan. Now he comes to parliament, gives him money. Now, if there's an issue, he would be the one reporting himself that you gave me too much money, in this or you gave me less. Now, he is coming to defend an issue that it takes long. Yet when he came for money, he, he never said it would take long. Like He would have planned and said, for this period of five months, I would need this amount of money to procure this amount of drugs. And I'm sure there's a sequence of this thing. If it is a, a something which is recur, 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 of a recurrent nature, would have these drugs in the stores, or they are coming every time. Okay, I don't know them because I'm not a cattle, uh, I'm not a cattle farmer. Maybe they know better. Do, does it expire? Does it have an expiry date? Uh, now, if it has an expiry date, we want to assume it is three years. Why don't we order enough so that we are having stock, that we don't have it expiring, that uh, having shortages at a particular time? So, Mr. Chairman, I would propose that this one here, if you are going to rule, it will need a further detailed investigation on procurement of drugs because you have seen the accounting officer is saying you can buy air. We are all sure that also the ministry is not buying what? Air. So these are things you should look at. So, so can you move the committee that this item be put to a detailed investigation for purpose of understanding how procurement of this drug for cattle is concerned for a period of five years? And this can be done with the an auto general bring us a detailed audit on this item. Are we good to go with that? We do investigate all the items that were partially implemented because we need to this time round allocate blame. Who was responsible for what? Because when you look at the table, when you go back to the these appendix 
or of partially, partially implemented outputs. We need to look at the nature of each item independently, nature by nature. For example, livestock diseases. You look at meat and export support services. Why are these partially implemented? Because, you know, you do planning for a financial year. So, Chair, for me, I think we need to investigate these items and find out, was it a problem of poor planning? Was it because the procurements were, uh, I mean, the process was started late? Where is the problem? Such that we mitigate. You hold money, you don't use it, and at the end of the day, we don't get services. Okay. I think the, our process ends. Five years, how has it been? In addition, we interest ourselves. I fear to, to detail an accountability committee into a sector activity. Because some of the, the, those, those issues where you are taking us are sector activities. Where sectors are not doing their work, let us stick and hold them accountable. I think those activities will come in our recommendation for the sector committees to take deeper interest into these issues. But let's the procured vehicles uh, needs. Okay. You procured 200 motorcycles at a cost of 2 billion. Accounting officer, at a cost of 2 what? Billion. A quick mathematics tells us each single one costed how much? Ten. Eh? Ten million. Would like to know the type of motorcycles that you bought at ten million. That is one. Mm. Second one. The biggest issue with the auditor is that these were, he says, cycles were intended to carry out district extension workers and etc. The audit inspection carried out in October revealed that all the motorcycles were intact and yet to be distributed to intended, seven, to intended beneficiaries seven months after mm -hmm. delivery and receipt. Mm -hmm. Seven months they were in your stores. Mm -hmm. Giving someone a contract, go and get a mark off, and things are there. Do you have an explanation or we move on? Should be distributed without being registered. And registration is out of the control of the Minister of Agriculture. The registration is done by the Minister of Works and Transport. And this is the period that they took to register them. Actually, we, we had to lean on them, as it were. We, the, the exact point that you are making, sir, we made it to them and told them that they were making us look bad because we've had these things for a long time and we had not yet delivered them. For the cost, sir, I'm not a, an engineer, I'm not technical. I have the Commissioner for Agriculture Engineering. He can explain the cost. And the make. Uh, and the make. Cycles. <coughs> this motorcycle is uh, manufactured by Simba and it is 125cc. By Simba? Yes. Yeah. It's Simba Automotive, yes. They import some they, of the parts, no, the, the, the main driver. Don't say manufactured, it's assembled by... Assembled, yes, but they manufacture some component parts because they have a, a directive to set up the manufacturing and assembly plant. Oh, you take her to that cover, okay. But mm. Okay, tell us. So the, 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 the motorcycle is 125cc, so the cost... It's Simba. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, the cost is now, uh, uh, let 10 us million. Say Simba right now is an agency or a factory? Current this is an audit. They are the dealers. Yes, yes. they are the dealers. At this plan, at this, at by this time, Simba is just a dealer. Yes, please. Okay. Mm. Now, the cost of uh, 10 million per motorcycle, if you looked at the cost of these motorcycles in the market, I think the ministry bought these vehicles much more cheaper than the market price of this mo the same type of motorcycle in the commercial market. And that can be verified, even send somebody to Simba to verify the same motorcycle. Okay, on this one I'm going to allow this, that it was the Minister of Works which delayed, not him as accounting officer. Number Chair, two. that evidence is obvious. Yeah, you exactly. better. Number yeah. two, 
You also confirm that it was only the only item which was delayed in your ministry was motorcycles, and you never imported the also cars for, as I say, you never bought also cars for ministry use, and also those cars were also delayed for the same period. Chair, yeah, this, this can be verified. The, the, the information, the, the commissioner there will bring you information. Commissioner, bring us that yeah, detail. Yeah. Ask yeah. Honorable. Uh, yes. Yes. It can be verified. Uh, Chair, Honorable. I wanted to know. What does the law say? The, the law says that uh, you need to open up for competition. Uh -huh. But yes. for items where there is a direct dealer who has been exempted, or who has been authorized to set up the assembly or manufacturing plant. It is in the That law. person is allowed to, the entity is allowed to engage directly with the service provider. But sir, don't take us. You have just asked you under review and you confirmed that this was a dealer. From no, no, no. The, 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 you are, you've just said on record yes. that this one, as of now, Simba, is a dealer under the audit year. I think in that, because I'm not a procurement expert, I can get the head of procurement to give us that explanation. Who is the head of procurement? By the law, because uh, I think we implemented as part of the directive. Which directive? There was a directive that was from who? Fear through my PS. PS, where did you get the directive from, sir? Sir, chair, there is a directive from that, uh, we would do. First of all, Simba. Uh, no, no, no. Let's finish the directive. You were general, you are precise on attack. Uh, that's yes. why I'm giving you an answer which is as detailed as possible, sir. Uh, the the directive was to procure from to procure that no, let's issue the now i'm interested in only one thread mm. the directive the directive was to procure motor vehicle motor from who vehicles, from who for, uh, to direct to to ensure that we use it's actually not just to us no no, no i'm so saying directive from the who there's a directive from he the president to use bubu S s s s bubu in the dealing. Mm. <laughs> no, can you show the directive? Yeah, it is there, chair. No, the, no, where? The, 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 it, it has been written to all the MDAs <laughs> to ensure that we use Uganda. And uh, this directive, I'm sure even the Auditor General looked at it and saw it. That's oh. first point. But second point, sir. No, no, no. We are still dealing with the issue of directives. Mm. And we want to see clearly that directive is from where the, uh, and why did it, the auditor general see the directive no but he did i am very surprised if he says he did not auditor general did you uh, see the directive have they complained about single sourcing sir no 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 uh. no, no no did you see the directive and uh he only queried the time it took to register. And uh, now it is you, the, the committee which has probed and reached to say it is single, single what? Sourcing. Now you have to live with the water general. He's now trying to deny his job. <laughs> that is very serious. So what you have to do, Mr. Chairman, it is you now to follow up and say, can I have the evidence of single sourcing and the directive? Because the water general has denied it. He only didn't, is, how can the water general say it was only a period? Yet he would have followed from the procurement stages up to the delays. Can I say this? They are make against the boxers. Order. 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 Mr. Chairman, members, we should get interested. Is, it, is this the right value in the market? And that's it. But we yeah, have that's why use so so eyes. It's very dangerous. So, so what I'm saying... I'll explain. That is the second chance in life. When they had that opportunity, they gave us that it is about a buffer stock. They couldn't even explain why the doses were 
mission. They could have told us we distributed them. They could have told them. They had options. Eh? Also, that has a great deal. Sorry, I didn't explain that. Mommy, there account. is a lot of time of that. And since we did it, that yeah. And you realize that we only have people that they could not account for drugs. What the 500 million and another one self. I think the, uh, the accounting officer, accounting officer there, before you, you get a compilation of these reports from the responsible directorates. Can we take it that this figure of the vaccines that are uh, missing <laughs> are in stock? No. And if somebody went there today, they can be counted. I, I get afraid. They actually distributed them. The, the main problem, their main problem is record and their main problem might have been attending the exit meeting where they would have... Ca ca can you listen to the editor's um, narration? Yes. Unaccounted for vaccine, Phoenix, but shall go to that. Very, yes, so, 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 that one can be explained. Yeah. Let but me listen to senior only and then we... Yeah. 700 are lost doses. The explanation you have here does not show that they're not lost. That's number one. Number two, because... When they were making these management responses, you would have been in to come and assist to say that with the internal audit, this is what happened. So, Mr. Chairman, if you are going to crucify my mother, whom you are calling mom, you cannot leave the internal audit. You understand? Because the internal audit is what the, the external auditor bases on. How about the general? We leave him. Chair, no, of course, chair, now I'm coming. The general chair, with the greatest is the first of respect. Culprit followed by my mother, whom who manages the store, the internal auditor, but... Uh, Chair, with the greatest of respect to my senior, when I want to are there, the weakness is that my director of uh, animal resources, probably the weakness is mine, because I did not supervise her very well, because she should have attended the management letter, and she should have made sure that she has the correct uh, response to this. And therefore, on her behalf, maybe I take responsibility for her actions. And uh, yes, I take responsibility for her actions. And as the accounting officer, it is my failure. I put it on record. It will not happen again. It, it is my failure for her to have failed to give this response properly. Do you know what the Public Finance Management Act I, I, says in this regard? I am fully aware and cognizant. Of what, what does it the, say? The, I take full personal responsibility. And what does it say? If there's been a loss, mm -hmm. I, I, rest, I pay. You make a good of the loss? Uh, yes, if there has been a loss. And uh, the public finance money, the law in Uganda, fortunately, is very fair. So if there's been, <laughs> yes. If there has been a loss, I'll, take, I, I'll pay. <laughs> You will pay? Yes, if there has been a loss, yes, I will pay. I will take responsibility for action. Thank you. Chair, the reason and I have not... General, you see, General, that's why we have high respect for you, and that's why I think the chairman is being fair. It will be also very dangerous for us to arrest a general. Right? Uh, but <laughs> as my brother just said, can you make your response? <laughs> So, General, is there anything you can say in mitigation as you fully take responsibility of this? Chair, I want to be very clear. <laughs> I have accepted responsibility. Of what? Not of, because there's no financial loss. There is? No, <laughs> Chair, there is no financial loss. You see, Chair, the, the, I don't know how we take the law in Uganda. Because the auditor general's opinion, if it was a, 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 a rule of a judge, I would be in prison. People would be in prison. But it's an opinion. And causing financial, law, financial loss is a legal opinion. Now, my request to you, sir, and this is a very, very humble request, is that if there have been financial loss, this is very easily verifiable. What Madam is saying is very easily verifiable, can be checked. Uh, if the, she has distributed the, the, the vaccine, that Geno, can also, if she has not distributed Geno, the vaccine. Geno, can I warn you? Yes, sir. You contradict yourself and put you on oath. Yes. Okay? 
and I don't entertain more lectures. Because you can't contradict yourself. You have admitted the Auditor General fixes a figure of the loss. Even on six, he fixes an amount of money. You admit eh, and say you are sorry. And you even commit yourself to make a good of the loss. And then you want to give an... Sir, sir, I'm on record. Really, Chair, I told you, and I respect you very much, I am on record of saying to the extent that the lady failed in her action, as her supervisor, I take responsibility. I have not admitted financial loss. No, Mr. Chairman. That's the second point. Uh, because financial loss is the second step. Can I make my ruling, sir? Mr. Mr. Yes, Chairman. Sir. Madam and the internal auditor go to the CID. Mr. I'm not Chairman. entertaining those explanations. Mr. Any Chairman. No. Mr. Madam Chairman. Doctor Chair, internal and, auditor. No, 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 no. Madam Doctor and even accounting office, I think you are being... Uh, but I don't want to take you through that. Mr. So, Chairman. Madam Doctor, not now, after the meeting. I, I want to say something, 